So the end of season one in stage four, I think, was definitely a, uh, I think, a mixed bag of emotions. Uh, we were very happy with how it ended and how it went, making it into the stage playoffs. And we definitely made it past our goals. We had an incredible stage. We had the most wins we've ever had, and everyone was ecstatic. Stage four was realistically the building grounds for the 2019 season. You know, while we were looking to have a good stage, of course, it was setting up the foundations for what our next season would look like. to talk a little bit about some of the coaching ones because that's one of the first things that we really went through. At the time, both Tickety and Jane were uh, in the middle of kind of doing their own things. Tickety working with a couple of teams and Jane his stream. Um, Jane and Tickety both went through an extensive trial process uh, with me. Uh, Tickety being on site, Jane being online. And both of them came out with, you know, doing exactly what I was looking for. And that, that is knowledge of the game, of course, um, but also to have a passion, an actual drive and commitment to be the best. It's, it's one of the traits that I value very highly. Both of them have it. Working in Coco into that, you know, when we decided to move him from a player to a coach, it was because Coco was already a big voice with a lot of our strategies and some of the tweaks that we do. A lot of the team discussions, he was a very big part of that. And in talking to him about his future, we felt like he could be a great coach in the long run. So uh, we landed on Coco focusing on becoming a coach for the tanks, uh, Tickety becoming a coach for our DPS, and Jane becoming a coach for support. Each coach has their own area of focus, you know, being able to have, uh, you know, coaches focused on the macro strategy, the strategy that the enemy team is doing, as well as all of the players individually, um, I think has, has a very large impact on our scrims, and I think it's very important, and it's, it's progressed um, our level very rapidly, and it's going extremely well, and I'm very happy with the environment that's going on right now. Ending the season, we felt like there was a few changes that we wanted to make within the roster. Some of the strengths and weaknesses, we, you know, I got together with my coaching staff and we kind of decided what we felt like was the best route for us to take in the off season. So coming in, we decided we wanted to get another off tank. We wanted to get another flex DPS as well as another main support. So we opted to pick up RCK at off tank. He's a, a very capable off tank that proved himself in the European contender scene. Uh, we were looking at, uh, there's a lot of off tanks out there and we felt like he fit everything that we wanted and he works really well within the team. At main support, we had the opportunity to pick up Closer from London and, and it was crazy. The first map we tried him out on, you know, you could tell he was the guy we wanted. The, you know, the guy's incredible and he's meshed so well with our team already. It's it's crazy just how good this guy is. At the DPS role, it's, it's an interesting one because we already have a lot of hit scan players and there, there definitely was that kind of projectile hole with Siegel deciding to retire. And so what we wanted in that role was someone extremely flexible, whether it was a hit scan heavy meta or a projectile heavy meta, whatever it was, we wanted someone who could, you know, work in the kind of environment that we have, which is really unique but could also you know, flex to all these different heroes and all these different styles, and, and Zach fit just that. Um, between the three of them, we felt like, um, you know, we really patched up our weaknesses and then have the tools to, you know, round out a really great season. When I first entered the team, uh, I was at the point where Effect had already left for Korea, um, I didn't ever get it. I didn't get a chance to talk to him before he left. You know, I was told that it was a good idea for him to go back and, and focus on his mental state. It was a particularly tough time for Effect because I think he he kind of went through this phase where he realized that uh, team play is extremely important and that you know realistically every player is replaceable. And that's a tough thing to go through as a player uh, to kind of get to that point where you know it. it it might feel like your team may not need you to succeed and and being at that point it's kind of a tough a tough area to go through there was a time during the off season where uh, when effect was going through all these things he kind of had this moment 
I'm on stream where he felt it was necessary to uh, to talk to his fans about about where he was at in life, and or it wasn't it wasn't just going through that kind of you know mental state of where the team was. It also was some personal stuff going on in his life. All of it kind of came together to where uh, he felt it was necessary to to like apologize to his fans. And uh, but I I reached out to Effect as soon as I could and let him know like hey. I'm interested in, in getting to know you more and uh, you know working with you in any way that we can. After reaching out to him and talking to him, I felt like if he wanted to, it was a good idea to bring him back to the U.S. and start working with him one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I felt like if, if he and I got a chance to work together, we could achieve some crazy things. When Effect first got back to L.A., um, I sat down and had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him um, where you know we talked about what it is to be in a team and what it meant for him to come back and have this chance. Um, we sat down and we talked and I told him, you know, that, you know, with this chance, you have to earn back your spot as a teammate. It's not going to be easy and it's not going to be gifted to him. Um, but if he wanted to become a starter, wanted to uh, have a spot back, he had to earn it. And he understood and he accepted and you can tell that he wanted it. He wanted to earn back his spot. It seemed like it wasn't just about playing in the Overwatch League. It wasn't just about, you know, making money. It was about proving to the world and proving to everybody that he had what it takes to become a great teammate and to become the best. Because you can't do it on your own. Um, and I think that this is going to be a good year for Effect. I just decided to, to, to visit the team for a day, make sure everybody was feeling comfortable leading up to the season. We are approaching the start of the 2019 Overwatch League season, so that was really important for me to make sure that everything was running properly here in, in California and make sure that the team was getting the best practice possible, which uh, come to find out that that is the case. Everybody behind me is working really hard to make sure the Dallas Fuel is really competitive in the upcoming season. Last season, we learned a lot. Obviously, uh, had some ups and downs last season, and there were a lot of things that, and factors that contributed to some of the things that happened. And we felt like the players didn't really have the best training practice facility possible, and uh, probably led to a lot of the, the issues that we faced. And uh, this season, we wanted to make sure that wasn't the case. So uh, we went above and beyond to make sure that the players had the best possible conditions to practice and train in. Turned out beautiful, and the players are really happy, and there's plenty of space for them to uh, achieve all the things that they need to achieve. So. When originally designing the practice space for the players, we not only were concerned about the atmosphere, we also were concerned about the physical specifications. We wanted to make sure that the desks were the exact same dimensions, height, length, width of the Overwatch League stage. We wanted to make sure when we're playing on stage, it was familiar, that there wasn't a big difference. And, uh, we, it, it's really cool to be able to have all those things be, you know, pretty much exact to what the Overwatch League uh, has on stage. When you're on stage, it's, you know, you're not just dealing with a new physical setup, you're also dealing with the pressure of the crowd, the fans, the lights, knowing that you're playing in front of, you know, hundreds of thousands of people. So um, we, we want to control as much as we can uh, to make it feel as familiar and normal as possible so that when they're on stage, when the players are on stage, they can focus on their play and you know, and, and the team's play, rather than worrying about a lot of the other things. So, as many variables we control um, is is exactly what we were trying to go for with with designing our practice area. Entering this season, I'm extremely confident with with how we're going to perform because we patched up a lot of the weaknesses that we had in the team, um, and the players are all really excited to play. It's not. We're not in a position anymore where it's we're digging ourselves out of this hole. It's we're trying to prove to the world that we are, we're for real. And it's a totally different you know situation that we're in. Um, we're we're back to even, and um, and it feels good. And it's nice to be you know everyone kind of on the same level, so we can show the world that you know regardless of how how the the, the past was, you know this is Dallas Fuel. This is us. This is where we are now. I mean, we feel like we have the tools to be one of the best teams in the league. Uh, and, and, and the team right now is, is very different from where we were before. Um, it's, it's really exciting. We have all the players that we want and it's, it's gonna be an incredible year for us. Regardless of how excited we are for this season, I think the, the people that have a true reason to be excited is you, the fans. 
Um, you know, we, we've been working hard to, to show our, you know, our new color and our new thing. It's not about comparing us to the old fuel. It's about us uh, showing the world that, you know, we have what it takes to be the best. And I think you guys could get, get this cool opportunity to see, um, you know, all these pieces come together. Um, in, 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 you know, the new players, the returning players, the, the returning staff, the new staff, everything all, all piecing together um, creates this new look, this new identity that we're shooting for. And we want to prove to the world, we want to prove to you guys that we're the best. So I think that uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a really cool season for everybody.